show you today, um, you've probably seen other videos on how you can add an external transformer to the Honeywell 6500. Um, some of those other videos will show you alternative methods where you can um, repurpose the fan wire from the G terminal to the C terminal to bring power to the thermostat on older furnaces, but um, that doesn't always work. And I'm going to show you my furnace, which is a oil, uh, Thermopride oil furnace. doesn't have one of those fancy circuit boards below where the wires uh, for the thermostat are matched down in the furnace. So I'm going to show you that. Here. So this is my Thermopride furnace. And you'll see my terminals, I don't have one of those fancy circuit boards with all the uh, same markings as the thermostat. So you could probably accomplish the same thing if you use the schematic to trace all that out. But um, as I said before, you don't need to. All right, here's my Honeywell 6500 thermostat. And what I did is I added an external transformer, which you'll see down here, um, that is uh, plugged into an outlet. And I actually fish the wires through the wall using fish tape. Or a fish, you know, you could use a wire as well. To bring it to the thermostat. Now the next thing I'm going to show you is I'm going to take the thermostat off and the wires that I put in is the transformer wire, these two white wires, the one on the far end here which is my RC and the other one which is the C. And then the way mine is set up, sorry about the light, is um, you know I have the, the uh, G wire for the fan and I have the um, all the other wires that came from my furnace and I have a Thermopride oil furnace so so it makes it different but what I've done is I've been able to uh, use an external transformer to power the thermostat which you'll see when I plug it in now the thermostat will come on now the thing that you know if you do that you're, you're actually just inserting sharing the slot on the right hand side with the RC and then the C slot is by itself and you put the other transformer wire and it doesn't matter which of the two wires from the transformer you put in there it's an AC signal so it's going to be fine either way. Now the other thing I want to demonstrate to you here is that if you look very closely when I turn a uh, display on is if I turn a cool on like you'll see right here and I activate it the thermostat, if it shows you that the cool is on but it's flashing, that means the thermostat has a um, delay in it and it's not actually trying to turn the air conditioner on right now. It's going to wait a period of time before it fires it up. Now, listen when I hit the heat. You should hear the thermostat click when it turns on and uh, mine actually hasn't clicked right now there it goes and then the heat will be on and you heard it click when I put it to cool it should do the same thing but right now the dilt there it just clicked for cool so it'd be driving the air conditioner right now now I've got my system shut off so it's not gonna do either one but the point I'm trying to make is that if you put that transformer on and you'll see that it's back in the delay mode and your air conditioner doesn't turn on it's not because you've done anything wrong it's because the thermostat is going into a delay mode right now which um, it will do um, when you you know put the thermostat back on or if you try to activate the cooling system too many times because it's trying to protect the uh, air conditioner and um, this kind of threw me off when I did it because what ended up happening was um, I didn't think the air conditioner worked and so I you know double checked and tested the wiring but it was really in the thermostat so um, once you give it time for it to uh, go out of that delay mode then it'll be fine so anyway I hope that helps um, you know the external transformer can really be used on any kind of furnace as you've seen here and uh, you just have to wire it up